Okay, let's see if we can take this particular mathematical expression and evaluate it when we know what some of these unknowns actually are. So let me remind you what this means. This is a mathematical expression that says you take some unknown x and subtract off 2 times some other unknown y plus 5 times the product of x times y. So here we have two different unknowns, x and y, and they could be any two numbers at all. And they're put together in this particular mathematical way to form that expression. And I want us to write down what that equals in the special case when x is, takes on the value 6 and y takes on the value 3. And so what would we see? Well, wherever we see an x, we're going to insert 6, and whenever we see a y, we're going to insert 3. So this expression becomes, in that case, 6 minus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 5 times 6 times 3. So now we have to evaluate this, and so that's going to be 6 minus, and that's a 6. Oh, that's great. 6 minus 6, that's pretty easy. That's just 0. And then plus, and then 5 times 6, that's 30, times 3 is 90. And so this all reduces down to 90. So in the very special case, when x equals 6 and y equals 3, this expression is equal to 90. Neat. See how we can multiply and, and combine these expressions? Let's take a look at this different one. AB minus 3B plus 2A squared. That's an algebraic expression, and I want us to evaluate it at the moment when A equals 5 and B equals 4. So here I've got two unknowns, and I'm going to insert for the first one 5 and for the B 4. Let's see what that equals in this special case. So in the special case, I see 5 times 4 minus 3 times 4 plus 2 times 5 squared. Now, what does that work out to be? Well, remember we do the multiplication first. So 5 times 4 is 20 minus, and then here we have 3 times 4, which is 12, plus, and then we take 5 and square it, so that's going to be 25 times 2 is 50. So now we have to add and combine these numbers. Well, I'll just actually rearrange and say, well, 50 and 20 is 70, and 70 minus 12 is 58. So the answer is that this algebraic expression produces the value 58 when a equals 5 and b equals 4. So we can actually plug in and see values of gener generic expressions when we actually focus on the variables to be particular numbers. Really good. Congratulations.